we got over a dozen new pro league tricks from everything ranging from tag team spawn peak pre-fires in cl to frost mass bots that shouldn't work but do from one of the best teams in the world so let's get into it this list did take quite a while to put together so if you like any of the tricks in this video please leave a like or dislike if you didn't <laughs> we get to overtime and all of a sudden i become the devil on the shoulder up first is how to throw a perfect C4 right over electrified walls. We've done a couple variations of this in bathroom going into closet window, but I never realized how easy this one actually is. I'm playing on 90 FOV, 16 by nine to put that into perspective. And yeah, you just line the crosshairs up and let it fly. The laser gate down, took the bulletproof out and has now moved it off. I'm like, bro. Uh it's all right. What's the point? Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. He's changing his mind. Never if you didn't know already, you can reinforce on one side of the wall, go to the other side of the wall, punch it out, and then place a bulletproof cam, and then lock it in with an Aruni gate. Obviously, this keeps it protected, and since it's bulletproof, going to be a total pain to take out. Full spot there, by the way, using the Echo Drone to jump <laughs> it's, outside. It's like, pull, pull. It's clay pigeon shooting, but you don't expect it. And Julio expects oh, you have a little it. bit of damage, and there it is. The Echo takes care of rips. And Kamikaze is continuing the trend that they had at the end of last map. Easily one of my favorite things from the Pro League Finals in Sweden was when Kamikaze of Team Nip was using the Echo Drone to bounce out of the hatch, spot enemies outside, and then use it for either runouts or peeks out of windows. With the coming changes, Echo Drones are actually going to be able to stay outside for even longer, so this is just going to get easier, and I'm on the hunt to find some more big brain plays and variations of similar ideas like this. Sure. The, the screen is littered with yellow pings and they do that lock next time you guys find yourself in a fight in staff room instead of just holding an angle with your head trying to like head glitch over the regular counter try lining yourself up so that your head is making a sandwich between the two backs of the chairs it's almost impossible to see it's a phase spot and obviously works now, next up is a bonus tip that isn't in Siege, but it's going to help you make sure that you are protecting your eyes so that you can keep spawn peeking with the crazy angles. So a lot of us are still sitting in front of our computer screens, whether it's for school, work, just playing video games. And while we're doing this, there's actually harmful blue light that's being emitted from these devices. These can cause eye strain, loss of focus, itchy eyes, or what I've experienced the most, headaches. Luckily, GMG Performance has a solution for this that helps reduce eye strain, improve concentration, and preserve our vision over the long term. They have all kinds to choose from i chose the arenos which are these ones that you see right here and since they sent me a pair to try i have noticed that my headaches are actually fewer and further between which actually makes a lot of sense because i pretty much never leave the house and i sit in front of the computer at least eight hours a day if this does relate to you you can actually grab a pair right now until the 29th for 50 percent off because it's their best offer of the year for black friday and they just released the new generation of their glasses which are even more effective to improve your overall gaming experience if you're interested in any of this, then you can help support my channel by clicking the link down below to check them out. Now all I gotta do is convince GMG to make something that protects my nose from pimples. Levy waiting, Neskin waiting, Des. The C4s are Double in C4 hand, the hatches well. are open. If Rogue aren't alert to this danger, it could be an absolute nightmare. And here they go, Des. Rips is on his way There's up. There's the vault animation. Here's the sound, out comes the own. nitro, one, two. There's really not much to say about this except for that really sucks to get hit with this combo and it's not complicated at all you and a buddy can each throw a c4 out of the hatch and repelling up this northwest corner is the most common place to repel up you use sound cues use a timer do whatever but yeah you can see in the bottom left replay to get the c4 perfectly out of the top red hatch he is running forward and then throwing it and i've covered the other c4 honestly they're both really straightforward yeah try comboing this and yeah poor gridlock oh my god this time around, they're coming from that office master bedroom side, so they want to challenge this hold from SSG. Now, there's no Amai being played, it's just the Jaeger and the Aru. This one here, good drone spot to try next time that you guys are attacking downstairs. You can leave your drone up here, good chance that it's going to survive the entire round, and a good chance that you can get some good intel if anybody's trying to flank. Really widespread roam also around bakery and potentially around VIP as well. All right, so this is the first time I've ever seen an Echo Drone like this. So 100% credit, as far as I am aware, goes to Neo of M&M Gaming. Basically, you can actually break out this glass inside of the top cabinets in kitchen, and you can put your Echo Drone inside of it like a Valkyrie camera. Now, what's actually crazy about this is you can actually just open up the glass on one side and then drive your drone to the other side, which makes it even more invisible. Once you drive it to the other side, which is the east side of the cabinet, you can even see the door entry that's coming from the hall into kitchen. This has been probably the slowest matchup I think we've seen 
so far. Basically, you have a spotter on the ladder that can see under the doorway that goes really deep into the kennels, or I guess technically it's called warehouse spawn. And then you could have a teammate that's getting ready to pre-fire. You could ping it, do all types of combinations. And it's really just stuff like this that really keeps Siege alive. Like this map has literally been around forever. This door has been around forever. This ladder has been around forever. And look, here's a new trick using it has it lined up watching that vantage point and rogue answers back with a round of their own yeah i mean if you're ever stuck in a bad position instead of peeking the doorway you can make a rotate jump over the table and maybe that'll give you a little bit more of a chance to win the gunfight if anybody's playing the balcony because they're probably going to be pre-aiming on the door into a post plant position rare snipes out yas though and takes away the garage control for fury out here a rather damn one as they're going to start the counter to do it blows the presence from the breach they don't have it because they went for this close plant the members of dk have no ideas this trick still works if somebody places a diffuser next to a soft wall you can actually put a shotgun hole or any type of hole of a decent size and you'll be able to disable it through the wall a lot of times stackers aren't even going to realize it even if they have a clear line of sight onto the diffuser a lot of times you can't tell I mean, bar was close to default, but shield was definitely not something that I, at least, have seen before. What? What? 2000 IQ Kate Electric Hall, when you're defending the kitchen, you can actually go upstairs into the office, break a section of floor, and then electrify both the walls that are in between the dining room and the Great Hall. With those on side, a C4 prep by Yoga for the hatch. Now, it's like playing a bit of, come on, take the trap. Mousetrap! All right, so this one is interesting because if you go based off of reaction time, it's really hard to get the C4 lined up perfectly after somebody sledges, you detonate it then because a lot of times the animation of bringing your hand up to start the detonation makes it so that the C4 is too far away from the hatch, won't kill the sledge above. But in situations like this on Cafe, if you hear a sledge break the new hatch, you can count to about three seconds and basically pre-fire your C4 so that they destroy the hatch, but it's right around the time that you're detonating the C4. Teams are stepping into playing this site. Castle also with the four armor, armor panels on site now means, hey, it's a bit more defendable. All right, 10 second, did you know, if you repel up on the south side of the wall, you can actually get an angle that's really deep into Aqua, not all the way into corner, but if anybody is playing in Aqua and they start to peek the hallway, this line of sight is gonna take their head off. Now, not wanting to challenge directly onto that library hold with that mayor window being available from SST. They choose to go in the base. Really enjoying playing someone off on the roam, looking to play this catch game, and FaZe have just not entertained the ground floor oh. at all. <laughs> so one Maverick combination that I was seeing a ton of in this tournament was having your teammates stack up behind you, figure out where somebody is, and then basically maving and pre-firing at the same time to take out anybody that's on the other side of the wall. A lot of people still like go up to a wall, poke 5 million holes into it, and then shove their face in it. Yeah, not the way to play it this is a good way i know it can be hard if you're solo queuing but if you got a friend definitely go for this instead cat sang now going to be one of the last lines of defense everyone else needs to step in yes with a big flank potentially inside a lobby finds one gets a double now it comes down to the side execute bullets in they need the kills astro's in as well they're going to go for the plan but it's a two versus two coated steps out and astro inside a split has found one back it's a 1v2 can yes pull this one off knows that it's gone down but can he step in sees the one must know that he's inside a split but he's been injured down as well the frost man that strikes big and yes with a quad kill in the round this one here is just really deep the more you think about it because on surface level it looks like a frost mat spot that really just should not work but when you break it down and look at the situation that the attackers were in it makes sense as to why it was a 2v1 and his teammate was planting the diffuser so he obviously he was on the flank watch trying to keep him safe it wasn't tunnel visioned in but he was doing what he was supposed to be doing and holding the angles to keep his friends safe now by doing that in combination with there being debris all over him pre-aiming at the correct spots essentially his toast hit that frost mat and it literally won the round for them and this also just makes sense that this frost mat spot works because it's so deep in sight it's basically behind enemy lines right so a lot of times the attacker is going to be ADSing in places watching for the spots next time i get chile i'm gonna defend here on purpose and go for it pixel as they find the shield and find themselves in a meta that was once upon a time a nightmare but this should be much easier to clear through cyber at the moment just hopping around those twitch drones trying to figure out and in some ways suss out this player over towards pixel will succeed in that special guy is forced into the open but still is going to maintain that position as there's no one else from phase clan in the area just as of yet cameraman though able to line up a very nice incendiary there forcing official guy out of position and nearly leading to his death this bullet's able to get quite a bit of damage basically capital trick shot and this 
this completely avoids the situation where Capital needs to repel up and then expose himself to peek in to get this same firebolt. You're doing this from 100% safety. You can get it all the way in the bathroom, partway on the pixel, and basically force the defender to make a rotate out where you're going to have your teammate on the repel. The defender's going to run into his line of sight and give him a free kill, all while you expose absolutely nothing of yourself. You're going to vault up on top of the blue car, line your crosshairs up where you see mine. Again, I'm on 90 FOV, 16 by 9. I got out my second try. So yeah, I'd recommend jumping into a custom, give it a go, and yeah, you'll literally be ready to do it in a real game right after that. Thanks so much for watching it all. I'll see you all very soon. Peace.